Things are starting to heat up on an all-new episode of W3. Join Big Dog, Andrew Everett, Living Legend, Courtney Rush, and Dino Winwood for an all-new action-packed exciting episode of Dub 3, the best wrestling in the whole wide world. Welcome to another installment on this lovely, beautiful, perfect Saturday night. Perfect for some W3 action. What is this? Episode 97. Mm -hmm. We are in the last little stretch to episode 100. It is going to be wild. Tonight is wild. Uh, released today, there is a championship match at the top of the card tonight. Troy Constantine getting his shot. Against the reigning defending junior heavyweight champion, Aztec Dragoon. What a main event in store tonight. Uh, another weird thing that I, I think we can't help but overlook. In the heavyweight division fight for the fifth. This is strange. It feels alien. Number one, we have a, a, a champion in the fight for the fifth. Jekyll, one half of the tag team champions, taking over on a man who has never been outside of the top five in his career in W3, the tradition's own Wu Fang. There's a lot going on today, Big Dog, but you know the one that popped up to me first. I went on Twitter and lost my mind. This is not a drill. Hannibal versus Sumo Joe is happening. The rematch from Great American Thrash. I say history repeats itself tonight. I want that firebird to rise. There is so much talent up and down this card tonight, but uh, there's only one true way to start the show. To start the show off right, the way to that we... To start the show? To start the show. I'm sharding the bed oh, we're all as we speak. Tonight. Tommy Lads. Someone that uh, needs a little bit of uh, anger, oh, anger counseling, taking on Das Runway, the new star of uh, one half of our hype train here, <laughs> Munich. This one's going to be uh, fun. Tommy, lads, see if you can use any of that anger uh, in this upcoming match against Munich, uh, one, of, one of the newest members of the roster. Legend, how you see this one going down? I know. Poor Hurricane Tommy. Just been so angry ever since Unknown and Claw snapped him. He's just not the same. You're used to seeing him smile. You're used to seeing radiate sunshine. And it's just, I don't know, it seems like it's just raining in the back now every day. It's... <sighs> weighs heavy on my heart but i hope i hope to see him be, to be able to turn that around here tonight munich honestly his his new pre-show uh, workout regime of coming out and dancing on the stage for everybody Jesus. it's fantastic it's no wonder his abs look so great but can he weather the storm of the anger and rage of tommy lads right now i don't know I mean, you coined him hurricane tommy right now <laughs> yeah. so Tommy has never been the same. His cookie has crumbled, in my opinion. This man is definitely gone from the toll house to the nut house in this particular thing. His chocolate chips are now straight up raising hell in the dub three uh, arenas. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, Munich, that man can hip wiggle and swivel with the best of them. And, uh, honestly, I just... Uh, I'm going to have to go with Munich on this one. Das Runway. To Tommy might be an angry boy right now, but he has never stopped shining. So he will continue to shine, and he will win this match. And damn it, Tommy, there are more cookies in the sea for you to chomp. So get this win. Munich, no nothing against you, bud. But I got to go with Tommy here. I think the more wins, the better for him. More? W I mean, I think that that is well said, and... and, and I think that that goes for anyone in this division right now. This is a great way to start off the show. Junior heavyweight action as Tommy Lads of Critical Friendship of the Critical Dojo taking on Das Runwe Munich from Hamburg. He's not from Munich? 
No, he's from Hamburg. What about Munchen? Is he from Munchen? Nope, nope, nope. Just Hamburg. <laughs> oh, Raisin Hell, I see what you did there, Dino. Those shirts. I think Dino needs an X Labs. <laughs> Everyone, I shit comfortably, thank you. And I'll up. say that loud on the Dub 3 broadcast. <laughs> Dino yeah. Woodwood shit. Comfortably. Yeah, yeah, we heard that pretty clearly during our Christmas special, Dino. I we, think everyone. Heard. Good. You know what? You're gonna hear it even louder. That's my Carol the Bells. <laughs> Carol the bo the Bowels. Thank you. So, get your dancing so, uh, shoes on, chat. Das Frunway is here, and he is here to party. To party? To party? No. Oh. Everyone. We're talking about sharding and. <laughs> Party. This is not going well. God damn it! We're supposed to be professional, yeah, motherfuckers. Party. Party. Come yell at us, folks. Show. Yeah, this is a serious sat doggy guy. Oh, I forgot it was Saturday. Shit. Okay. Yeah, serious sat doggy. It's it better is a shitter day. <laughs> and I. <laughs> a shatter day. Shot right between the shoulder blades and stomping at the Shit. lower back, maybe Shit. trying to soften up for one of those patented German suplexes. Oh. He is from Germany. Oh. I guess I'm going to HR. That's what that's what I've been told from uh, from the crowd. They're just yelling at me to go to HR. Just one person, in fact. Oh. Great. Into the corner he goes, spinning soul butt. Tommy stepped away from it. Oh my God! Shooting underneath to get that uh control from behind. Maybe going for a German suplex of his own. Tommy doesn't want to get in a uh, grappling contest with uh, with Munich. He also needs to avoid the striking, especially the kicks of Munich. Uh, he's got to use his unorthodox offense, really. Like, I guess he's got to try to brawl it out with. I I I just don't. Now, now that I'm looking at this through through the statistics and everything, I don't see a a clear way that Tommy is a better. What it boils down to right now, Big Dog, is he's got to do what it takes. Because Tommy's not the same competitor. Nice drop toe hold there. No, Tommy's not the same competitor. He's unpredictable at this point. How do you prepare for someone who's not uh, fighting or wrestling the same style Ooh. as they would as if they were thinking straight? Tommy's operating under pure rage right now. And that makes his actions uh, a little bit harder to prepare for. But also a little less calculated. Look mm -hmm. at these shots. No calculation problems there for Tommy Lads. Drop kick low, and then a drop kick right on the chest. Both feet again. This time gaining oh. slow. Damn. Maybe another. No, sidestepping. <laughs> Decided he was done with drop kicks to the head. <laughs> I've been there before. <laughs> Big boy between the knees. Seems to work well for him. Stalling suplex coming up. Beautiful. Now he needs to hook the leg there, man. I know. He needs to hook the leg. All these guys need to start learning to hook the leg. <gasps> Ooh, standing style fuckbuster. <laughs> Dragging him to the center of the ring, setting him down. Elbow drop to the back of the neck. You know what the front of that's called? Throat. Don't, if you say it three times. Don't. <laughs> I didn't bring my turtle knife today. Whoa. I didn't think he was on the card. I don't think he is. I didn't see him in the oh. locker room. You normally can hear him. Going for the cover again, right in the center of the ring after dropping him off in lower Manhattan. Oh, no. Yeah. Overhand shot. Now whipping him into the rope, sliding through. Beautifully placed. Two feet drop kick right to the chest. Now, a little bit more pressure across the shoulders in that pinfall attempt. Still not enough to keep the youngster from Hamburg, Germany down. Beautiful German suplex, but 
Dino Tommy right up to his feet. And now going for those Texas stab jabs. Punching him right in the snot locker. In the spinning tom hold, but not enough to gain a victory. He's dancing it off! <laughs> Doing his calisthenics. A little bit of oh, a... Oh my god, he could have landed on his feet! Down bottom! Oh, right into the spinning tom hold. He took that personally. That spinning tom hold has been a very dangerous move lately. It's actually always been a very dangerous move. I'll shut up. Yeah, well, honestly. But now it's been dangerous for two people. Tommy's used it to win as well. Honestly, uh, no mistaking, that might be one of the most dangerous holds in professional wrestling today. That spinning tom hold. Well, if you're gonna idolize somebody and, and uh, use use their finishing move move in homage to them, table saw Tommy is a pretty good one to choose. Use an effective one. Exactly. Whoa, face oh. buster. Never gets. Into He's not hooking the leg. Is it, He's not thinking. German suplex, but able to get his hand on that bottom rope, no problem. I actually remember the spinning tom hold was actually a subject of uh, controversy. I think, I don't know, Bree was oh! Tim, oh god! Tim was thinking about maybe banning it because of how many wrestlers were getting injured? Bree yeah. was having none of that. Yeah, but let's be real, Tim, not in control anymore. We don't know where Tim is. Yeah, who cares? He, I, I, I don't, I, I don't worry about him. I don't have him in my phone. I, I got After the Tijuana Hatchet job, you mean? And yes, yeah. <laughs> kicking his own leg out of his leg, elbow drop off the top rope. Maybe a second one coming up. Thrice, thrice. No, <laughs> we were denied the uh, triple play. Say no, dry with that vi. No, just spy. Just spy. <laughs> oh, but we're getting a little bit of entertainment on the side. He's an elbow drop! <laughs> we got it. Just took a second. He just oh wanted boy, to... here we go. Yes, here. Spinning heel kick yeah. and then rolling elbow. Oh. And right into the spinning tom hold. Is it enough to get the win? No, it is not. Munich. That's where that six foot four frame comes into play. Yeah, the gangly ones are hard to keep hold of. Oh, on. but oh. You, your instinct is to take out that vertical base, but they're so damn scrappy, and they can kick you off. And oh, they're just. My brother was six four. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm seven four. <laughs> Shot there, drops him, picking him back up. Now kicking him in the hind quarters. Oh. oh! Low drop right there. Now shooting behind that German suplex once again. Tommy not getting up this time. He is going to that elbow drop repeatedly and seems to be finding some sort of amount of success. Snapped off that T-bone. Snapped off that spinning heel kick. Munich is an incredible athlete. We are really seeing him hang in there with Tommy Lads. Oh my god. Wrist clutch, suplex, not enough to get the job done. Oh! Black Belt trying to psych up Tommy, trying to shake the arena with those jumps. Not enough, once again, the spinning Tom hold, but he is going Jesus! Off. Is he gonna hit the oh, face buster? Go for the pin, Tom! Oh, Wait, but no. me. Come on! Maybe calling oh, for the shit. magical pleasure bomb. Mystical. 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 <laughs> Danger! Danger! Oh! Get on the floor. Do you know who was that bridge? The rage Man, was so too much. Long. You should have gone for the pin. He was going for the pain. So how am I all my duels are are to the pain. Crickets, well, obviously. I get it, I get it. What are you gonna fight to? The death? No, Come it's on. old school. 97%, 19 minutes, 19 seconds, wrist clutch suplex there. Getting the win on Tommy Lads. Tommy Lads making some key mistakes in this match, and you can't help but think maybe it's the anger that uh, is getting in the way of a successful career thus far in W3. 
can't say more than that. The, the opening matches always are. The junior heavyweights have been killing it here in the dub three for quite some time now. Ever since that glass ceiling was shattered by Aztec Dragoon becoming the champ champ, becoming simultaneous junior heavyweight and world heavyweight champion at the same time, the juniors all looked at what was going on and said, oh, oh we can do whatever the fuck we want, huh? <laughs> <laughs> And then just proceeded to have a string of the probably the most classic and best matches for the f months following after that. It was always the junior standing out. Unknown winning the ultimate survival. A Iraqi and Dragoon stealing the show at graphic violence. There's just so many examples. And to, to this next match could be another example if uh, one team can pull out a victory on the other. Yes, we're having a little bit of a return to uh, normality here. Prince Pajaro joining once again forces with his mentor, La Masquerade, uh, taking on part of the Chi Dynasty, Ming Chi and his cousin, K. Date Ken will be out here for this. Uh, Kim Chi, I think he's got his hands full later tonight. But right now, the Chi Dynasty would look really, really good if they got a win here over La Masquerade and somebody that was uh, holding that fifth spot for a little bit, Prince Baharo in the junior heavyweight division. This should be interesting, should be intriguing, and should be fun. A mixture of styles here. Legend, I see you going. <laughs> yeah, Ming and Cousin K have been working really, really well as of late. Possibly uh, even better than Ming and, and his brother Kim ever worked together. I think these two are actually more on the same page. And okay. there's not yeah, so much as, as a discrepancy. Kim being far more aggressive and uh, vicious than Ming ever was when they tagged. I really think Ming and Cousin K are more on the same level. And it adds to the flow uh, so much better. And having Dake Ken, Dake's uh, the second best weapon passer on the team <laughs> next to Ming. Yeah, so right, they should yeah. have some plunder to use here. Masquerade and Pajaro also work incredibly well as a team, but over the past month or so, they've been almost exclusively in singles. As you said, Pajaro defending uh, that number five and number four for a little bit pos uh, position in the junior heavyweight rankings. Vispa put that to an end. Yeah. <laughs> Vispa Jaguar puts that to an end for a lot of people, big yes. dog. You shouldn't feel bad about it. Masquerade even challenged him once in there just to see. Um, but now tagging up again, I would love to see an incredible performance. The tag team division is hot, hot, hot here in the W3, and either one of these teams could challenge for that number five position in the tag divisions. Here. Yes. So, fuck it, I want to see it. I don't care. Absolutely am. However, I am not discounting the ways of the Chi Dynasty. I know how they operate. I know how they get the job done, and I know that their reputation was built on the this big amount of uh, quote-unquote teamwork, but this is going to be a fantastic match. I want to get right to it, so my thoughts are short. I'm going to surprise you here. I'm actually going to be going with Masquerade and Pajaro. Uh, and the reason being is as much as I, you know, fuck respect, I Masquerade and Pajaro were almost unstoppable until they ran into Typos. And then that's when their singles runs kind of went off for a month and a half, like Legend said. Yes. They had won like four or five straight tag matches before they ran into Typos. All right. Tag team action coming up. Ming Chi and Cousin K taking on the Masquerade and Prince Pajaro. Let's go to them. Yeah. Let's go down to the ring. Can't talk today. It's okay. Can't talk this. Mm -hmm. Hey. What's up? I'm always happy to see Dave. Hey guys, just a reminder, uh, Ming Chi beat Shogun. Yes, he I heard did. It, I heard a few people muttering that in the crowd a few minutes ago. Ming Chi's on his game right now, man. Yep. Definitely not to be overlooked. Any of these men. Big Ken does have a win over Yoraki. Sure, earlier in his career, but... Prince, to point that out. Prince Baharo has been... Ever so confident here recently. I wonder if that's going to carry over after a couple disappointing losses. Uh, see if he can get back on the winning side and uh, get back to winning professional wrestling. The Masquerade here, as always, in the corner. And uh, this is going to be a just a clash of styles to the fullest effect. I mean, even in this tag team alone, 
the traditional Lucha Libre and the modern high-flying specialist of Pajaro. A lot of room for error, but a lot of room for spectacular maneuvers in this one. Pulling him away from the turnbuckle. Oh my god, already! Brain Buster! Buster. <laughs> Using his weight advantage there. I think I heard a weapon. A weapon has already been <laughs> slid into the ring. I told you he was reliable. Oh, and it's a mochi mallet. On brand. Oh, very, Dake. very on brand. Out of date, Ken. Big Dake Energy. Now, speaking of big energy, Cousin K coming in here. Step <laughs> kick. My God. Assisted style. Harto did not say kindly to that double team. Was, oh, and his mentor yeah. and has showed off a little bit. What's up? <laughs> a, a bold strategy against the much larger Cousin Keiichi. Throat thrust there by uh, Ming Chi. <laughs> this is a incredible size discrepancy here in this one. You saw that got underneath him, though. Able to use his weight against him. Jaguar spin. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Dino, they're definitely gonna have the strength advantage in this one. That being said, though, okay. you you know as well as I do, La Masquerade, he's got that classical lucha strongman style. And DD does. They uh, used to teach them how to chop by uh, making them do it on hard surfaces, concrete, yep. trees, all of that. Yep. See if that uh, comes into effect. Uh, uh, you don't get pegs that look like concrete slabs by not doing anything. Yes, uh, Legend, you are right on that one, but look it would be interesting man. to see what would happen from a uh, chop uh, meeting the skull <laughs> of Ming Chi. What is this? Oh my god! On the oh mochi boy. man! I'll tell you one thing I'll take Ming Chi's skull over anything. <laughs> yeah. To HR, you go. No! That's a weapon! That was proper. <laughs> Two count only. Paharo getting tagged in. See if they can make up, make something of this uh -oh. beautiful drop kick there. I was more impressed by the cartwheel. That was very fancy. Well, his ability. Yeah, cartwheels are much more impressive. <laughs> At his age, does him. He's P aggressive. Yep. I wouldn't compare the two. P aggressive. P <laughs> aggressive. <laughs> Single leg crab locked in. I'm doing a little bit of cheer. I about your <laughs> Ducking that line. Running bulldog there, bulldoggers. Now tagging out to Ming Chi. I don't think Paharo saw the tag weirdly enough. I just think that Cousin K is so How do you not damn see? large. These are big guys. I think he's so large that he he. he Ran a body block on his own tag. Did you register? Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, that big dick energy is blinding at times. That's fair. Ming Chi now in the wrong part of town. The masquerade, beautiful uppercut, and then that cartwheel into the drop kick, perfectly executed. Robin Charleston is a fast little fucker. I just can't see where he's going, fun. but he'll get there quick. Yeah, yeah exactly. European uppercut once again from the French Mexican Lucha Libre star. He's so versatile. He in in, in worldly. Like with, yes, incredibly worldly, incredibly really uh, really experienced speak. too. Yeah. Oh yeah. Huh. Are you starting to dig La Masque? Look I at his turn. Cousin in English. Man. Yes. Both, both French and uh, Spanish. A cunning linguist. Sometimes yes. it's better to be the student than the teacher. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> God damn it, legend. What? Oh, looking for a tag team maneuver in the corner there. Baharo using his speed to get around Cousin K. Oh, uh oh. Nice Whoa! Whoa, what? what a That's what you gotta look out for. That's what the cheese have to look out for. Sneaky. Because anytime they shoot in, anytime they try to pick the legs, I can guarantee you that. Look at that. He just they landed on his feet. <laughs> he managed to land on his feet. He's so fancy. We already know. <laughs> From oh. London to Tokyo. Yeah, <laughs> yes, they do. I think oh! there, are, there are several clips in my folder just saved as Paharo does fancy stuff one, Paharo does fancy stuff two. <gasps> oh! oh no, and. Oh my god! Oh, Gabriel's bow! <laughs> yeah, 
and look at the extension on that one. Oh, breaking it. Oh, that that cousin K is not used to bending no, that way. I he promise is a you. Large gentleman. I used the term gentleman. I'd like. Good <laughs> oh, dog. Oh, I think he heard you. Stop looking you at me. Yeah. <laughs> a show of intimidation, big dog. Do you submit? <laughs> I am. I am intimidated. <laughs> Into the robes, into the corner. <gasps> oh, ready, Festo! <laughs> oh, I don't know if this yeah. is good. Let's see if that uh, chopping concrete walls have paid off for Paharo here, Dino. I think he's knocking a couple of fillings out. Oh! Fillings? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <gasps> I thought he was going for the air shots in there. Opting not to. Right. Now tagging out to Ming Chi. He's like, no. grab, but no, he's like, what the fuck you doing? I'm right here. <gasps> oh, 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 yeah. oh, no! no. no. Hey, Festo. Rule 1A of professional <laughs> wrestling, you cannot many, you cannot Rainmaker. Prince Pahara. You that orientation. Yeah. Well, I guess both Chis were here before Paharo got here. They might not have the same orientation that everyone else does now. Oh, caving in his skull with a headbutt. Ooh, maybe not. That's a little rough. Oh, stopping Ooh. that attempt. No, thank you. No spice bread for you. Oh, Eat the loaf as is. That murky mallet. <laughs> two, enough to get the job done. No, it is not. You're lucky, too, because Whoa! I was not getting there in time. Oh, oh. The cheese might have had enough. Oh! Oh, God. <laughs> Good lord. Side of the foot connecting with the face. Oh, hooking lariat. Again, going oh, at them titties with them chops. It looked like the masquerade thought about making the tag and then decided to go back into the war. Oh. Well, it paid off for him. God, that. And he's going to lock in the Gabriel's bow. He's going to attempt to. Can he get that <laughs> arm? He can. Not the legal man, but the damage will be done for even for the five seconds that he's allowed to be in there. It's a long five seconds. Oh, he's paying for it. Oh my god. I don't bend that way. Did he just grab a horror by his head and threw yeah. him down the mat? Uh -oh. Yes, he did. Oh, oh, oh no. Masquerade saving his partner there. Oh, didn't save him for too long. He did long. not oh, save him that time. No, mm. he did not. He can't hold his hand. I mean, it wouldn't hurt if he tried. <laughs> it, it kind of would. You would get hit too. Oh, what is this? <laughs> oh, there is no what? eye. In oh my team. God! Oh, <laughs> Things Back are happening. There. A lot, a little bit of chaos in this one. You knew we were gonna see a little bit of it somewhere in this matchup. Yeah. There was a lot on the line, like you said earlier. Whoever wins this match could be gunning for that number five spot in the tag. Oh! Good God, he is fucking getting violent here. <laughs> oh, is he gonna lock it in? He's gonna be going for the Arc of the Gabriel. Gabriel's bow! Locked in! Stretching him out! Good God. Nice. And there's take over there by Paharo. He didn't even and now see it. Over his corner. Look at this! Look at that! Get a picture photograph! I think Great. Dave's on the apron. Classic Lucha I can Libre. feel that energy. Ooh! Oh! I can feel that. Please get food to Robin. What for? I like how he went and made sure. Oh my God, I thought he was going over the top rope. I wanted him to. <laughs> <laughs> Oh! Ah. Well, oh my He's gosh! Got a leg Ooh. Ooh. So close to that three. Oh, oh, my oh, my oh, my oh my god! But they're right Every back on top! Oh. 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 Is he gonna get it? Got it! Just too close the rope. to the rope. This is nuts. <laughs> Got it! <laughs> Things have broken down. Can he take advantage of this? Oh my oh god! Holy shit! He landed on his feet. He just steps off onto his feet. It's crazy. Oh, 
now fighting out. Oh shit! I'm calling for the tag, but cousin K's a little busy right now. Nice there by Masquerade. Incredible action thus far tonight. Look at Day Kin is is really to the king. Oh, oh, oh the Mochi oh, Mallet! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, god. Ow, oh no! He missed! Masquerade moved! Ma Masquerade moved? Oh my god! Oh, speaking of moving, nobody landing in any water tonight. <laughs> oh my god! Right? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> this is getting a little bit oh, out my of control. Teeth are out. Oh boy! <laughs> Using the speed to his advantage here. Oh, oh, oh shit. shit! He needs to go for the cover. Oh my god. Grabbing a hole. Thing. You had it. Put him down. Pahara paid him back up. Spinning heel kick to the back of the head. Rolling clutch, is that enough? Two, three! Whoa! Oh. Welcome back to the tag division. What a way to start it off for these two once again. That was awesome. I mean, they work as well as any team we've seen here in the last little bit. Maybe that little uh, escapade into the 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 junior heavyweight top five helped Paharo grow. Maybe this is what's going on. Hey, they met each other multiple times during that time in singles competition. So it's interesting to see, and, and, and maybe they grew closer together because of those matches. I, oh, I mean, that whole match was awesome. Between the Chi Dynasty causing chaos and Masquerade and Paharo jumping off everything, I didn't know which way to look. It was exciting. I want more of that. More matches like that for the rest of the night, please. I mean, we've started the night off right here, guys. <laughs> uh, two for two on great matches thus far. Um, yeah, and the next one's going to be another banger for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Well, hang on a second. Before we get to that, Can Kyle's we... literally right back behind the curtain. He says something's going on. What's going on in the back? I don't know. Third of the back. No, no, he's not gonna be. He's not. Gonna be, he didn't even. He didn't even hit him. He didn't even hit he him. He was baiting he does, him. He does great. Clearly, this guy has something on his mind. He's gonna make a big deal out of this. I'm. I wouldn't be worried. I wouldn't be he worried about that. He was clearly baiting them. 
Cousin K, number one, stepping up to what is widely accepted as a legend in the business, uh, not having his family's name drugged through, his uncle's name drugged through the mud anymore because we've seen Talon go to this time and time again, mentioning their 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 father, well, I should say Kim and, and Mings. Cousin K finally said, fuck this. I completely understand that sentiment. That being said, Talon has plans. Talon's always thinking, and Talon always has the future in sight. Bad time to lose your cool. They just lost. Talon knew this. This is all calculated, guys, but I wouldn't be too concerned. He didn't punch him. I don't know, big dog. I've been in he HR an him. awful lot. I don't know if you know this, and I think I did see something about putting your hands on non-in-ring contract to Talon. But I... We're gonna have to wait until we hear, till we hear it from, from I, I guess Bree. I, I, does he go to Bree for? The, I, I don't fucking know. I don't know. Yeah. All right. We do have. Oh, th this explains why Kim wasn't out here earlier. He's got his match coming up right now. Shogun and Kimchi in singles competition. Uh, looks like no one's joining. Kim Chi to the ring in this one. Uh, They're probably going to plead their case, and Kim can't be worrying about that right now. He's got a hell of a competitor in Shogun ahead he, of yeah, him. Yeah, it's... Hopefully, it's, Kim, that's not going to affect him going into this match, because, again, Shogun, you can't... You can't take lightly, period, mm -hmm. ever. Uh, these two know one another really, really well, have met each other plenty of times in Dub 3's past. Hell, I mean, a couple times outside of Dub 3 as well, these two have run in, into it. That's, uh, that's another time. That's a history lesson. Right here, right now, Kim Chi is a dangerous, dangerous man. And I think on any given night, this guy is capable of winning any championship he sets his sights on. The roadblocks that are there, obviously the tradition clearly making it a point. Shogun is a roadblock right here. I don't know. I can't concentrate, big dog. I gotta go see if I can get this scoop. I'm gonna hover outside yeah, Bree's yeah, office. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, see what the hell's on. going on in there. Maybe he went directly to Bree's office. I don't, I don't know. Boy, you want to talk about the fact that we've been around for as long as we have, and we're almost approaching episode 100. The amount of times that these two have faced off. Uh, I'm gonna have to give it to Kim Chi here. I as. I have a highlight in my head of when Shogun knocked out Kim Chi, what must have been one of our first five or six episodes, and it was a beauty, but a lot has changed in the past almost 100 episodes, and I believe Kim Chi does get the win here. Uh, we've seen the growth of both men. Shogun uh, first showing up in, in, a, in a mask, a, almost in a complete image change. Kim Chi, excuse me, Kim Chi growing uh, just ten folds in skill and ability the guy likes to say he plays chess well he's got to try to end this one quickly because shogun is going to be looking to do the same kicks are the name of the game in this heavyweight meeting shogun and kimchi let's go to the ring i might be wrong here too but at least in w3 I don't think Shogun has a pinfall victory over Wu Fang, but Kim Chi does. Saying something, but I mean, Wu, Wu's got a whole nother issue to worry about later tonight. Oh yeah, let's uh, oh yeah, big night guys, big night everyone. I wonder, like you said, if Kim even knows what just happened in the back. It looked like they went past gorilla position there, right where uh, right where Bryce is set up, just a little bit past. He must have heard a commotion. I, I don't know. Was he already, you know, re stretching, getting ready for the match? Can't let that shit get to you. He looks focused. Doesn't look like he's off his game, but we're not going to know until that bell rings. Shot to the liver to start. Another shot focusing on the midsection. Maybe Kim is thinking he can get any amount of a, of of Shogun's wind lowered for this match. He uh, stands a better chance. 
And uh, I would suspect he's right. Shogun, no problem going multiple hours. The guy's uh, matches with Wu Fang and Empire Wrestling Federation, legendary the series of matches that they've had, uh, all going over 50 minutes. It's incredible. So Kim clearly knows this. Yeah, and he's going to have to keep the pressure on Shogun for sure. Another liver shot there. Off into the ropes. Drop toe hold. Shoulder tackle here, but staying on it. Kick right to the top of the head. Now a clover leaf hold, stretching out the lower back and the leg ligaments, the knee ligaments in particular on that. Weakening those is the right move here against someone like someone like Shogun, whose to, offense is about 90% leg base. Uh, to be fair, oh my god, just like that. And then a follow-up axe kick. Both of these men utilizing axe kicks and uh, a, really a lot of sole of the foot kick to straight kicks as well. Um, these guys, not, not the quickest kicks, not the snappiest, but they land heavy Nexus. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. S stomping at the back of the head, now just stretching out the lower back and the leg lig ligaments of Kim Chi, which is the proper way of attacking Kim as well. Shogun's one of those guys yep. that it's just so dangerous to watch. So so much of his arsenal seems so disrespectful. The stomping on the head, the kicking on the head, the Ooh. dropping you Ooh. on your neck. Nexus, you saw that he shifted all of his body weight coming yep. down on top of him. Now raining down shots to the head, and look at this uh, trading back and forth. Two absolute warriors. Speaking uh, of, he's right back up. Good God, punishing shots once again. Those cool water kicks. I really love seeing these two against each other. Oh God. Oh God! I you were drop him on he's his neck. not throwing him. He's falling backwards on him, using all of that 300 pound. I mean, he's got he's got a weight advantage here by about 40 pounds. God! Shogun keeps getting up after the first one. Oh God! Again! Oh, God. Chops now. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Met him at the ropes. What is he going for here? Shoulder tackle. Now stretch plumb. Oh. Trying to separate oh. that shoulder. You know, I mentioned earlier how Ming Chi does have that victory over Shogun, and that is impressive, but let's not forget that the Chi Dynasty was at ringside and did play a role in that victory. Kim is out here by himself oh! in the Chi Dynasty with him. Oh, God. And you know Shogun is very aware of that. This is just one-on-one. -on -one. Axe kick bring him down. You are right on that yeah. one. This is Warrior v. Warrior here tonight. They embody the spirit of competition. Hey, you know, Talon always wants to talk about competition. These two guys are guys that bring it every single time they get in the ring. And when they get in the ring together, you're seeing the best of the best in the heavyweight division. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh! <laughs> Dunzo bomb. Two. Two count only. Oh, Another God. one. Oh, no. Avoiding it at all costs. The knee! The second one! Oh! oh the third. A third! Three times the charm! Oh. No, the no. ropes! Pulling him away from the ropes after that. Go to knee! Not enough to get the job done. Oh, another! Oh, God! Bashir! Oh my god, punishing stomps to the midsection, softening him up again. Kim having it scouted. They're both relentless here. Shots trading them. Oh no, Bushido blade once again. 
That's the exact spot he knocked him out in in that highlight clip I was talking about earlier. Not enough to get the job done today. Kim Chi is out for a win. He needs one here tonight in the heavyweight division. But he might not get it. Shogun is starting to unload oh all of the offense Relentless. Nexus Omega. He is headhunting. He is... Oh, God. But Kim he... keeps kicking out. Well, he gets a well-deserved breather on the outside. I don't know. I'm not sure he knows where he is, but he knows where that kendo stick is. One, two. Swinging at it. Oh no! He got oh, caught. No. He got caught. Oh, no. oh! He needs to make oh. the cover. That's One, the offensive onslaught. Oh. Will have to continue. He's up and he's running, jumping, pump, axe kick. Oh, that's going to slow him down. It has been all Shogun for the past five minutes. <laughs> it's just a respect there. Back. Come on, we got Kim. Plant here. Going to the eyes. He needs to in this time. He just doesn't know what he can do to put him away. Legs in the ropes. The 6-5 frame of Kim Chi coming in to play there. Chop there. Oh, he got caught. Just as I'm starting to see a little bit of blood welling up over the eyebrows of Shogun. Hey, I clearly Kim sees it too. Oh, he's going up top. What is you this? You don't see this often. Brain chop. Body splash. Oh, 300 pounds coming down. Two. Not enough. Wow. Kim is uh, <laughs> doing what he has to. Off into the rubs, kick to the face! Maybe calling out, maybe for that knee, maybe fall of a dynasty, no. Oh, the knee! Pit him! One, two, three, Kim G! Man, he survived. He survived. You are perfectly explaining that match right there Nexus Omega. He took everything he had and kept going and finally putting Shogun away 19 minutes. Whew. Damn, we are throwing it out here tonight. Three matches all getting well rated by Delta. He's feeling good tonight. I'm feeling good tonight. Are you feeling good tonight, Legend? What? You you got an interesting look on your face right now, an intriguing look. I'm going to try to stop saying interesting as much. <laughs> I believe in you, big dog. I don't have any solid answers, but I do have concerns because it's just eavesdropping on what's going on in Bree's office right now. Talon, sure. Sounds like he knows what he's talking about on, from a legal standpoint. I uh, have a feeling... He's been sued a lot. ...that this encounter might have been scouted and prepared for, if you know what I mean. Uh, I have no problem knowing what you mean, mm -hmm. because I he think he seems it's, to know exactly what he's talking about. I think it's about. plain to see, Legend. Ah. And with Punch Tekka still out, and if Cousin K gets suspended... Oh. And they got those two new kids, Takaro and Yoshi. God damn it. You see what's going on here, right? You think you think Talon would just want to sick his guys after the Chi Dynasty. He's he just wants them out of here. Nexus, he's done this every single every single time he's gotten any sort of amount of control. He sank a company before, a multi million dollar company before. This is just who Steel Talon is. Alright, we we gotta move. We gotta move on. We have uh, our first fight for the fifth tonight in the junior heavyweight division. Looking forward to this one all damn night. Could be match of the night right here. Mononoke in her, what, third appearance? Fourth appearance here in dub three, no, taking fifth. on Jaguar. I think this is fourth. Uh, Widow Beast, the... Fight for the, uh, excuse me, uh, Eliminator. Oh, eliminator you're right, you're thing. right. Good shit, Legend. Don't mess with me, big dog. Well, it, it's appropriate that this is her fifth appearance here because she's in a fight for the fifth. She gets violent, and Jaguar gets fast. He stays fast, and he tries to end matches quickly. Mononoke has to have her wits about her. Surprisingly strong for her frame. Mononoke uh, isn't going to be down on strength in this one as much as some people are thinking. 
Ooh. There's definitely a reason that she is the first member of the EP Dub Cell Block to even challenge for a number of... Well, no, wait, that's not right, because Boomer and Boom, Kim technically right, yeah. challenged for the technically, tag team division fifth rank spot, but she's the first one to win an Eliminator, to actually go into our system, to play our game, and clearly the first one to get used to the rules of Dub 3 yes. over EPW and is maneuvering to, hey, why not, if you have a if you have a stay here, if you have a two-way contract, make it more money as you move up the rankings, take a shot at it, enjoy your time here. Yeah, those, those <laughs> weekly bonuses that you get uh, don't hurt, mm. don't hurt when you're uh, top five ranked. And if you're here to get the level of competition that Dub 3 can really offer, the best place to find it is in the top five. Think about this, if she wins, if she beats Jaguar, who's there? Abispa, your Rocky, Black Jaguar, Troy Constantine, Aztec Dragoon. How do you get better than that yeah, in the this, junior heavyweight yeah. world? <laughs> I, you, you mentioned her being a deathmatch princess. That's not going to help her today. This is not a deathmatch, and, and Jaguar is not going to be having to dodge her, any but barbed her wire resilience, explosions. Her resilience. Yes, but his speed. <laughs> I'm still going with her. I think she shakes it up. I think she's bringing something new here, and I don't think a Jaguar adapts fast enough. I'm going to say let's go, but there's reasons, because everything she just said about Mononoke is 100% factual and has been definitely proven. However, Jaguar, the man finds a way to base himself off of air in order to rotate <laughs> his true. body and land in ways that no human being is able to land, but a Jaguar definitely. And uh, honestly, one of the most, not the most, you know, the most influential name in pro wrestling. The man has a move named after himself. Uh, he's continuously inspired a lot of flyers, uh, up and coming, and legends of, of his time. The junior heavyweight division fight for the fifth. Mononoke challenging the fifth ranked Jaguar. This is going to be fucking awesome. It's me rubbing my hands together. I'm not doing anything. Are so you rubbing your feet together? I'm really I mean, I do a lot often. Banger themes all the way around in Dub 3. Dub 3 CD. Banger themes, volume 2. <laughs> Which will be made available soon. Yeah. yeah. We're getting there. Not enough hours in the day, chat. Oh my god. <laughs> Good god, chat. Table saw! Dobby! I didn't know we were still doing that. I mean, I'm oh, what I remember. <laughs> okay. I'm all about my kid. I'm down. I'm, I'm, I like retro. What's old is new again. And all that jazz. And what is new is, a, is another man's treasure, <laughs> whatever that saying is. All is old is new again. <laughs> Huts? Off into the road. No, no, what? no. Not the, what? not the, n oh no, not the <laughs> goddamn Han. Yes, <laughs> the Hans boys. Ran. Ooh, running <laughs> forearm strike there. God damn it. Sorry. Elbow oh. shot there, pulling him into it too. That extra little bit of leverage. Mononoke <laughs> clearly has her shit scouted. Didn't have that one oh. scouted though. He's Mine one of that I mean, he's, he's one of the there. hardest guys to to scout. Let's be real. You put well, he can walk on, his, on his hands, hind legs, and front legs. F faster than most people can walk on their <laughs> natural legs. It's wild. Test of strength, as you're seeing, that surprising strength that we've mentioned uh, before. Mononoke, don't know where the hell she gets it from in that small frame, but she is a fucking powerhouse. It's weird. Some people just have it, man. Rana from Mononoke here. Best not to try to match speed with Jaguar. Yeah. Does not normally work out in your favor. Rana there, taking off. No, if Jaguar anyone just... could, though. Mm. You imagine it would throw him off guard. Pahara and Dragoon being the closest. Yes. But... And Hanzo Mon's up there as well yeah. as Black Ninja. Stopping that attempt right there now into the corner, but he gets sent into the corner. Very uh, awkward positioning there for Jaguar. 
Off into the ropes, drop down. Woo! Scoop and a slam, checking progress. One count only. What you almost have to do with Jaguar, not to, not to try and catch him, but to try and predict where he's, he's going. He's going, yes. And you saw it right there, even even though he slid between uh, Mono's legs, she was able to turn and grab, well, grab him by the scruff of the neck, basically. <laughs> he's trying to get, get to the other side. Like a bad kid. Yeah. Oh, you can't let him do this! Wow! Double jump, moonsault, and it was beautiful. Mononoke able to get get a kick out at one. I uh, think maybe he overshot it just a little bit. Didn't land with all of his weight across her sh uh, chest and abdomen, I should specify. Suplex perfectly executed. But that Jaguar defense, Dino, he shoots in with that so quickly and it takes you off guard. First year, you got a vertical base and then immediately you're down to your face on the canvas. That's why it's named after him. The man perfected it the day he debuted it. And a two count there. That was a close one. Oh, Good job. Down. Okay with that drop pick. Just two feet to the nose like it's nothing. Nobody does it better in W3 or the world. That's for But she went low with that drop kick. And now almost a stranglehold. Oh, where are we going here? He's setting her right in the center of the ring. He likes to go for that handspring elbow drop. It's gonna be this that. Got it. It. Not going for the pin, though. He makes this mistake time and time again. He likes the show. Yeah. He likes the applause. He likes the thunder of the crowd. He feeds yes. off of it. To his to his disadvantage, really. Yeah. Also, yarn and laser pointers. Well, who doesn't? I I, I didn't do agree. Oh! Hip oh. thrust! Right to the face. That threw him off. He went for that kick. Now an octopus stretch on the ground. But he... Did you see the way he was able to just sneak out of that? If I didn't know better, I'd swear he dislocated <gasps> his shoulder, pulled yeah. it out, and popped it back in. Yeah. Like, this rat is impressive. Bad cat. This, this, this jaguar is impressive. Now into the corner. What does he have? <laughs> oh! Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Quick thinking on his feet, as always. Snapmare there is trying to regain some sort of semblance of control in this match. Fine body press hits, lands on the dot. No. I can't get over that damn jumping soul butt <laughs> off the middle. Like he lands with just precision. No! Oh, oh God. that snap. Shifting into another gear herself. Ooh, he oh. went underneath. That's what you gotta do. Break a cat's neck. Oh, my God. Oh, God. <laughs> Don't fuck with cats. Chat, oh, we're talking no, wrestling. Oh, what is here. this? Oh, no. oh, Tornado oh, DDT. She's what up. Is what is this? Oh, oh my God. Moons. <laughs> he hits. Jaguar That's not a moonsault. That's a moonsault. <laughs> Finally found the pool with water in it. <laughs> the dish with water. <laughs> or the kitty pool. Yep. <laughs> kitty. <laughs> now trading. She is driving him back to the corner. Ooh. Okay. Oh, blocked it. Oh, he blocked it. Oh! 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 your kick. <laughs> so but right to the fucking chin. <laughs> Whoa! Oh! Hip attack. Holy shit. But you'll sell that, motherfucker. <laughs> oh no. Where are we going? And Up. Now sweet with a view! <laughs> what? <laughs> out of nowhere! What just happened? <laughs> out of nowhere! Hey! This match fucking rules! This match fucking rules! <laughs> Says this observer. One, two. Oh, two count only. Oh, he's calling for it again. That Mr. Mistopheles elbow drop as Dino has coined it. Oh my god, the coin. It almost looks like a half elbow, half <laughs> sent on. <laughs> Lands a little bit more than just the elbow on you. Uh huh. Ring positioning, he knows it. Oh, what is uh -oh. this? Oh, Jumping oh, DDT! She's gotta go for the cover! Oh my god, Two. one! Two. She oh, has put oh, away somebody. Oh, oh, oh. I, if I'm not mistaken, oh, avoiding the corner at all costs! Oh, yeah. 
He usually follows up with that. <gasps> Frog Splash! Frog Splash! <laughs> no! Jake, are you fool? He got caught! Fire! Yes, Thunder no! Power no! Bomb! No! no. <laughs> Stopped her. Oh, what an incredible contest. He's unloading that spinning soul, but is finding its mark. Oh, whoa, she's got him in that octopus stretch. Octopus. Octopus. <laughs> God damn it. Uh -oh. oh, shit. Oh, my God. Time to fly. Oh, 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 him out. <laughs> Miss, miss mocking him with that jaguar faint kick. Yes, she was. I was so was. disappointed and then so happy. <laughs> oh, where are you going? Come back and All the us. way up here. Camera focusing on monitor. Okay, look, look. She is going back to what she knows. Oh! <laughs> he landed on it. Oh! That was high in listen, the neck. Listen to the crowd. Run, Saul! That's gotta be it! One, two! Oh my god. Oh, that's locked in! Can he get to the rope? Get that the hand, rope. that hand, so close. Drop kick! That hurt him. That hurt Jaguar. Gosh, kicked the knee out of his knee. Whoa, sidestepping it! He was looking to jump off of her chest with that stunning shot. Front neck chancery. Whoa! Whoa! The snap on. And shoot right back up. Oh, Lord. She's going for this submission hold. She wants to twist this kitty into a little pretzel. Good God! What a match. You can't break their necks. So you twist them into a pretzel. Look at these two! Here's the thing oh, about that, and why she might be going for the submission so much. And you know some of the Dub 3 guys oh have taken to the EPW guys oh. not kindly. <laughs> she sidestepped it. <laughs> to make Jaguar give up rather than to get the pin is to make him admit that EPW belongs in the top five. It's true. That's a big statement. Dropkick, is this enough? Is this enough? It is! That elbow drop and then and he... However, is not the truth. Hint her with a drop kick and precise and perfect. What a match. That's the kind of drop kick that he has. He can end a match with a drop kick. That's the kind of junior heavyweight division we have. That was our fight for the fifth. That, holy shit. The kind of, that could have been a junior heavyweight championship match, which you will see later on tonight. Our junior heavyweight yeah, champion, Aztec added, Dragoon, added defending against Troy Constantine. But that was fantastic. Jaguar pulling out a... He's been really impressive lately, but that might have been the best I've seen him in a long time. And, he, he needed that win. And Mononoke was right there, right on his heels. Every single exchange could have gone either way. And I would have been happy with it because the, the, the better person would have won. It was incredible. It was back and forth. It's exactly what the junior heavyweight divisions, what I was saying about them realizing gla the glass ceiling was non-existent and just losing their minds and giving us week after week amazing action. The junior's a killer here. Absolutely. It's been incredible thus far. You know who else is killer here, Big Dog? Who? Nice Bryce. Oh, I love me some Nice Bryce. And he is in the back, and he's got somebody who has won the Dub Three Hearts with him. Ooh. Shall we go? Let's let's head back.
Are we going? To, I, I is this going to be a sanctioned match? <laughs> Why not? Let them fight. Yeah. Go, Gloria. Go She's Glo not afraid. She'll be fine. No, she no. But Dim Sum is a is a active professional wrestling competitor. Like this guy is a hell of a competitor and has been on a damn roll here as of lately. I I don't know if I like this decision. Jackal's got things later here tonight. I I hope he's there for backup, but. Powder Keg's not. Powder Keg has the next week off. He this I don't know if this is a good idea for Gloria. Yeah, she's a, she's a tough tough son of a bitch. But I don't know. Uh, well, I'm being handed. Yep. No, this is ha this is happening right now. We're going to the ring right now. Dim Sum taking on Gloria Keg in a singles. Okay. Cool. I guess we're going Let's to the ring, guys. Go. It's a beautiful thing, big dog. <laughs> and he's bringing all of his crew out here super boomer's gonna be out here fuck i hope yeah. i hope she has some sort of amount of backup then <gasps> might have left the boot boot behind but he brought the boom boom <laughs> Is Dim's V on his top getting deeper? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Okay, thank fuck. Okay. I didn't think that he was just gonna let her come out here on her own. She taped those her. fists quickly, Jesus. Probably went straight to him. I mean, you got a partner you can count on, big dog, even without powder cake. Your Jekyll is family to glory. She's ready to go, man. She's ready to fight, and I'm saying, obviously, she accepted the challenge. Who's gonna say no to Dim Sum? I don't know. God damn it. Not me. She's. <laughs> He is going to control the majority of this match. I don't like this for Gloria, but I mean, uh, it, we've talked about a puncher's chance before Whoa. with a match with her. She sidestepped that. She's got it. Look, sometimes just <laughs> add, oh, attitude and oh. need to punch someone in the face is sometimes just enough to get you through. Big She's dog. grabbed him by the hair there. And while I do not share her views, I understand she was knocked out by Jim Sub, so she does have a bit of a score to settle. Gloria Keg tagged herself into that three-on-three -three match at maximum mm. security and went straight for Boomer. She paid for it. <laughs> She's not gonna back down. Look at her. <laughs> oh, oh, no. oh, no. Oh, no. I've seen her do that at the bar. <laughs> I oh my That's god! Terrible. Look, okay, look. I will say this: the little bit that I do know, she did train as a professional wrestler, but had to stop training after four months because of a. a a interior knee injury. I don't know if it was ACL. I don't know if it was MCL or LCL, but it Very was mysterious. a it was a ligament injury. She met Power Keg in training, went the manager route. So it's not like she doesn't have an amount of training. And we all know she hits like a fucking brick wall. True. That right hand is heavy. 
Yeah, ask uh, Dim's now somewhat recovered eyes. <laughs> Look at her! She's peppering them! Holy shit. Come on, Gloria. Come on, Come on. Gloria. Come on, Jinx Gloria. She's got it. Oh, she, she just checked, checked a kick. Yeah, she did. She crowned him. <laughs> Look at this. Use it. So Those fucking boots were made for kicking shit. Oh, oh my god. Oh, god. Oh, oh, so god. god. Damn. Five minutes gone. Elbow there. What's she got in mind? Oh my god. Yeah. Unloading those punches again. One to the body, one to the face. <laughs> It's definitely a distinct style that uh, that southern Texas r region. Oh, what is <laughs> brings oh, to the shit. ring? Oh shit! Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Just keep doing it! Oh. oh my god! Taking a page out of Powder Keg's book! <laughs> oh. oh man, the crowd is behind Gloria. Oh! Figure four leg lock. Punishing her, maybe going to that knee that I was talking about earlier. Maybe. Power bomb coming up. Oh god, folding her. Getting a rope break and now fighting back. Gloria is doing very well here. Fuck yes, Gloria. Come on. Come on, girl. Oh, oh. She just rocked it. She just rocked it. That is. I wish we could replay that. I wish we could replay that. That was the opener. Can we just loop that? Oh no! Oh one, two. That knocked her out last time. Maximum security, big dog. Not tonight. Come on, Gloria. The laugh of an angel. Go for, cover, go for the cover, Gloria. Go for the... Stomp with those damn now, boots. She ain't done kicking his ass. Oh, yeah! Go for the pin! Go for the pin! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No. Oh. Power! Yeah. Bob! Go for the pin! No! God damn it! Go for the punch! Punch his fucking eyes out! God damn it! Oh, kicked her in the ass. Oh, kicked her in the side oh. of the face. Come on, Gloria. She's got to take advantage of this. Yeah, pull him down by that stupid haircut. Oh! Yeah, one, two, another one. <laughs> God. The budget comedy. Oh, yeah. Go for the cover. Go for the cover. She's getting wrapped up in this. Too emotional. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh no. Strategic. One, two. <gasps> yes, Gloria. Here go. She broke free of the hood rat. I ain't no hood rat, bitch. The clutch and the drive. She's gonna go for it! Oh, oh my god. god! Go for the pin! God damn it, Gloria. I don't know if this is about winning, though. Gloria, this isn't a... Oh my god. This isn't a bar fight. She's breathing heavy. Northern Lights, he just shot in. No! I do feel like she's having bar fight flashbacks. Doesn't quite know where she is. Another Jesus. power bomb! Dim Sum is going to rue the day that he fucked with Gloria Keg. <laughs> oh, got know. it! Come on, kick out! Kick out! God damn Dim Sum getting the win. Kicked out a one hood rat driver, but not two. What a showing from Gloria Keg. Damn. Damn is right. Holy shit. Ah, oh, damn. Feel good you about know what? Dim. Oh, you son of a bitch, Dim. And look at that. 91%. That's, I mean, she gave 110 in that ring. You know what? I feel too. Jackal. Yeah, I'm buying. Oh, I'm right Dino. now, oh, oh. right now. Yeah, they, yeah, they'll they'll take you out on that one. <laughs> well, I'm it'll, be right now, night, right. it'll, be night, uh, <laughs> it'll be a good night, though. It'll definitely be a good night. It'll be a good night. Not for your I'm wallet. Some of it, so. <laughs> 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 you guys have a great show. I'm gonna go tend to their wounds with a little bit of brewski. That's so. fair. Absolutely, go uh, go see if she needs. I know she's gonna need one, but holy hell. Tell her thank you. Oh my god. Do me a favor. Tell her yes. if she's ever in the situation again to just lay off the undercarriage. 
Oh my god. Lay off the undercarriage. Oh my yeah. god. Legend. Okay. Don't worry. You mean a scrotum, right? Yeah. We all know what you okay. mean. Okay. Alright, I'll do it. Something man. about scrotum. I want to go drinking with them. I know, right? They're actually really You guys cool. never come out ever. It's because I'll, we have d- No, women. you don't. We have the women's No, you legend. don't. Yeah, we do. We got at least seven women's. Yeah, yeah. they say, wow, Drew, you're... They, all, they, they say, wow, Drew, you have, bold. You have We're a all shitty here for old day day blanket yeah. in the back seat of your car that's not women's. They say, look at that One. front bulge you got there, Drew. That's no, what they no. say. Uh, yeah. yeah, seven women for seven days of the week. My favorite is Wednesday. No, none of this is real, and at show 100, it's going to be a huge party, a huge after party, and pre-party, and if you two don't show up, I swear to God. Uh, but you know what's happening right now, big ooh, dog? Ooh, good, good segue, good segue. I do, and this is going to be so fucking good. <laughs> Black Jaguar taking on your Rocky of the tradition. Whoa, indeed, little wolf. Whoa, indeed. This hey. is Right. The first of a trio of tradition matches first. and high-profile tradition matches we have on for you tonight. And second of the kitties that we have out of three on the show tonight. Oh, it's all sorts of all sorts of three symbolism. Mm-hmm. With three episodes left to go before one hundred. Yeah, three is it's too much. Is how many is how many times the ref has to slap the canvas for you to get a win. Uh, Black Jaguar has looked amazing here, but Yuraki has tapped in again to whatever the fuck he reaches down into his being and finds, and he becomes nasty. He becomes scary, and he becomes precise. I like the word precise legend for Yuraki. Your thoughts on this upcoming match? Yeah, the kid, uh, he had a couple of of bad showings, but they were losses to, like, Nothing really to be ashamed of. No. It was it was one was a multi man, and two on one. He did get isolated outside, if you recall, in that four on four. Uh, in and the th- three on one on the outside, obviously. Yes. Making sure that Yuraki was the one. The kid. We've called him a cyborg before. Had a bit of a had a bit of a slide, but now went into the shop, got a tune up, got his circuits rewired, and he's deadly again. Focused, precise, and I think even the Black Jaguar got the win the last time these two met. I don't think that happens again. I think Yuraki is too good right now, and he's taking this one. As dangerous as Yuraki is, you got to remember that during that climb to his first junior heavyweight title win, he got stopped by Jaguar. So I'd like to think that Yuraki might be hiding a little bit of a cat allergy. You know what I mean? So we'll see what happens here as he goes one-on-one with Black Jaguar. Black Jaguar might be able to take everything that Yuraki dishes, and then some. But that that freaking high fox splash. Yeah. Oh, God, no. Go Black Jaguar. All right. Junior heavyweight division contenders action coming up as Black Jaguar faces the tradition's Yuraki. Let's go to the ring now. been an incredible night of wrestling this match is not going to stop this oh dino i'm a purpose girl <laughs> purpose girl i like my purpose girl yeah you know i'm gonna drink all of this purple stuff since no one is here to tell me not to no yeah it's oh my god don't you, don't you do that don't you drink i don't i don't see stuff. name on it did you my put it in there cold. i that's what she said I am gonna drink HR. This HR. Stuff. I will gladly wow, go to inappropriate. HR. How Who would say un- such a thing? How terrible I am. That purple stuff's fucking you up. I am not even aware where I am right now. Fuck you up. Hey, it's that little bitch. And it's sunny. Hey, yeah. Purple stuff is actually kind of gross. <laughs> well, don't touch it. It's not yours. Oh, my God. 
I I'm gonna finish it. I'm not gonna put it back. All right, you guys ready to witness a murder? Oh, oh yeah. No, I mean, I don't think it's gonna be just like that. I think Black Jaguar is gonna give him everything he can, but Yoraki might be there once again. Might be in that place in his mind to get back what he deserve, what he thinks he deserves. That junior heavyweight championship. Well, what he's told he deserves, and honestly, the way he performed, working his way up the junior heavyweight <clears throat> rankings as the junior heavyweight champion, he did get the best of, or get caught the best of but as Trek Dragoon, but who hasn't really? Dragoon has toppled the best of them, literally. Mm. Changing the Good course God. of them three. But I would not be surprised to see Yuraki in the near future a two-time junior heavyweight champion. Uh, it's, I think it's only a matter of time with the political uh, positioning that mm -hmm. Talon is taking as well. Yuraki's got everything going for him, but Black Jaguar has one thing that kind of sets him apart here from Yuraki. A tail. A mask. No, integrity. Oh, a, ta a tail. Oh, I oh. never would have got that. I was going to say tan. Shots. Everybody. Ooh, knee strikes right to the face and a stomp to the midsection, driving his heel in there. Off into the ropes, holding on. Talon watching on from the outside. Shot right to the right to the kiss. Pow. Pow. Dude, he is Pow. dropping him. Good. That's what you gotta do with your Rocky. You gotta beat the shit out of him before mm. he beats the shit out of you. See two strikes there. Stunning Black Jaguar. Now oh oh shit. Oh He oh, left his God. feet from his ass. Those kicks are deadly. It really just the striking prevalence in its entirety on uh, on Yuraki's uh, just pedigreed ability. You got to think that all that training with Fuji, he spent a lot of time kicking and punching and slapping wood. You must appreciate actually hitting a body a bit too much. I God. will go to HR. <laughs> Throwing Slapping that drop away. kick, not there. Chevelle lock there on the oh. rebound. That is locked in deep, but again, able to just pry his way out of it uh, and and roll his shoulder over. You're seeing that uh, Black Jaguar understands how to counter a lot of these maneuvers. You're wondering if he's got it scouted. Didn't have that capo kick scouted. Now he, uh, sitting down on the lower back, pulling back at it in that Boston Crab there. Sliding through, holding on is Yuraki. He's getting a lot more comfortable wrestling professional wrestlers, and that is the final way to round off his his ability in 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 sports combat. Yes, he needs to learn how to wrestle professional wrestlers because he's only known fighters for so long. Okay, I didn't quite know where you're going with that, but now I follow. Yes, definitely. Adapt to different styles in the ring. Not only mat based and, and technical and striking, but to be able to branch out from that. Professional wrestling is a lot different. Absolutely. Jesus. But you know, there's nothing a, a open hand slap to the face doesn't uh, doesn't convey the message that you want to get across. No. Oh, uh, that being yeah. said, open uh, open hand slap, uh, you can't get that mixed up in any language. At all. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Water will drop. You see Talon getting people into it. He feels that this is his ringer. He feels like this is his standout student, Yuraki. And uh, I can't really blame him here. <gasps> Blackjack War Bomb! <laughs> are, you, are you, are you wow. kidding me? That's him told. This is not good. This is not good. He kicked out at one. Yeah, shut up, Talon. Sent on there. Threw that kick. I'm surprised Talon's not getting oxygen suspended for blowing. Right, on. Jesus. You know, the worst uppercuts. part is he's not bad looking for an old guy. Huh? Can you? Everyone knows. You can you? It, National Horny Day was yesterday. Yeah, and you. I'm you spent it be the all week. of your tokens on dim. Welcome to my life. 
off into I the road. I never limit myself to one option. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, oh. no. Oh, my God. Oh. Jaguar. Black Jaguar. Oh, oh shit. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, Did he kick out, or was that just a <laughs> And he's answering. He's answering Black Jaguar Bomb. One, two. He blocked the capo. Go up to the top, come on, kid. Come on. God damn it. Okay, that works too, but you gotta go up to the top. Come on. Drop kick to the back of the head. He, I think he was thinking about going up top. <laughs> Had a thought to go to the top rope. There just, we go. Just, just, just an inkling. Boston Crab locked in. Again, sitting down on that lower back, trying to just wrench all of that weight back onto the lower lumbar region. Yeah. What does he got here? Back. Oh, He's targeting it. Yes. He's targeting yes. that back. Maybe a frog splash to the back. That would be a clincher right there. Oh, beautiful, beautiful clutch there. Bridge. Oh, my God. Ooh. Oh. Into the corner. Oh. Move. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, oh that oof. fucking kick, man! Oh Come yes, on, get it. In the middle of no, the oh, he's adapting on the fly, and that is what we were worried about. Wrist oh, clutch. Two. Oh, no. oh. No. Shut up, old oh, man. He's getting mad. T Talon oh, is getting man. mad on the outside. Good. Never good. Miss that jumping DDT. That stopped him right there. Oh my god, are we gonna see the frog splash? Got it! Just too close to the ropes. I will say, big dog. What is as this? Oh my god. Oh my oh. god. And Talon is happy. Oh. Super kick. What I was going to say was as impressive as Black Jaguar's uh, frog splash is. I oh. oh, that rolling into it. I will never get over how high Fad Holt Clark got on his frog splash on Wednesday. There's n nothing like it. Oh, oh wait, my it was God. God. He literally just, I think what he just said there was, don't you fucking <laughs> give up. I think, yeah. Yes, sir. Almost 20 minutes has expired in this contest. It has been amazing. That Come wrist crush suplex. One, two, two, three. three. Oh, yes. Fucking yes. Yoraki is allergic to cats. You hear? You heard it here first. Maybe he is. That's unfair. Wait, no. Ha <laughs> ha Stupid allergy. Doing? I don't know. I'm sorry. My, I'm in, my on natural the instinct is to argue. <laughs> the other side of the point, you know? Journalism, finding the scoops. Fuck you, Tower. Get away so from worried. me. You're not attractive. Oh, God. I worry for you. I, I do. do, too. Legend, go to HR. Okay. Jekyll has a match here tonight. Clearly, he had to skip out on those beers. I'm sure he will be joining Dino Winwood and Gloria Keg in the bar very shortly. It's either going to be uh, celebratory drinks or drowning those sorrow drinks because uh, Jekyll's got the biggest singles match of his entire career tonight. This feels like it's a main event. This whole card has felt like a pay-per-view. Every damn card is a pay-per-view. And as we approach our 100th episode, goddamn, the fall of Wu Fang, finally fighting for the fifth for the first time in his career against our tag team, one half of our tag team champions, Jekyll. Like, who would have guessed this? What were the odds? I mean, Jekyll is a fucking competitor and a half, and I literally mean that. 300 pounds, probably the strongest man in W3. If I if I had to put money on it, Jekyll's there. Uh, his explosive power is what has earned him championships in the past and in the current. Wu Fang has dealt with bigger guys before, has dealt with powerhouses, and has dealt with animosity in his career. But I don't know if he's ever dealt with the amount of animosity, uh, <laughs> at least since retiring his own father, 
as this right here. Still Talon has it out for Wu Fang. It's very, very, very clear. Can Wu, I mean, I, I hate to use the term, get the proverbial monkey off of his back, but that's what Talon has become to Wu Fang right now. If he loses this, he is out of the top five. Talon's not happy already. Yoraki just lost. He has to come out here, march right back out here with Wu Fang. If Wu can get a win here, I don't want to say that says something to Yoraki's credit. Against Yoraki's credit, I should should state. Wu's one of the best wrestlers in the world. Let's not dance around that. Wu just needs to get his mind right. I don't think Jekyll is going to be coming out victorious in this. I think Wu is going to keep that fifth spot. And I it's only a matter of time before he moves up. You're not seeing Wu Fang drop out of the top five. This is you know what Wu Fang meant to me. From the beginning of this company, he's one of the reasons I came on as commentator because you guys had the greatest professional wrestler in your company. In, in the world. A man I referred to as the ace no matter where he went. My captain, I'd follow him. He was always the guy. Oh, I remember star. Captain Mike Captain. Oh, yeah. And that betrayal at Ultimate Survival, uh, man, that, that hit so, that cut so damn deep, big dog. But at the same time, I still have this loyalty to him. I still have this desire to see him do good because I know, I know what he's capable of. I know what he brings to the ring. And I want to see that back because that's the Wu Fang I want to see in a match with Jekyll. Yes. To really see them go at it, go head to head, beat the crap out of each other, and, and the winner emerges as the better professional wrestler. This, this is Wu Fang fighting to try and up he's some sadistic monster that has it out for him anyway you know whether he wins or loses here talon's gonna find some way to fucking try and needle him more and more and more You're rocky loss tonight it's gonna be on wufang it's gonna be on Wu. Oh. but part of me wonders if maybe getting knocked out of the top five would wake him up this is a fight for the fifth how weird is it seeing wufang in a fight for the fifth legend wild But, at the same time, you have to acknowledge what that means over the past year of Dub 3's existence. Wu Fang, when we started, was head and shoulders and then some beyond everybody else. He was the, the inaugural heavyweight champion and held that title for a long time until the competition started stepping up, started coming up to his level. We started seeing huge rise, Sumo Joe, Major Tom, Aztec Dragoon coming out of nowhere, Hannibal fighting his way up the heavyweight, and, and the level of competition has grown so much over the past year, which if you believe the pamphlets that Talon hands out, that's what he wants. Pamphlets. But if you listen to the words and if you listen to the way he treats people, it's all smokescreen. Wu, I know he joined up for the competition, but he has to realize that th Talon is a sadistic, masochistic, manipulative snake. This is, uh, as you said, people say, and here comes the ace. Maybe one time, once before, but uh, he's got to regain that title. And I don't know if he gets that title he's underneath Talon. To regain the trophy. Well, I mean, we shit on Widow sometimes, but she even knew well enough what Talon was all about and called him out on his bullshit. At least she knows what she is. Exactly. Well, she's a loner and she likes it that way. Oh my god, and Jekyll also ate danger. that kick, by the way. No problem at all. Ate that kick. <laughs> Jekyll going to use that power as you just saw right what? there. Feng sliding back in, not giving him a chance to breathe. The longer this match goes, the more it swings in the favor of Wu Feng. Uh, the guy does not get tired. We have never seen it happen, and I don't think anyone is going to see it happen. Uh, probably the best motor in the business. Probably one of the best strikers in the business. Those elbows put people out. He's going. <gasps> he's oh going to god. the big stuff early. Oh my god! But the power of Jekyll is un regulated he has broken any sort of system of measurement here for strength and it's all explosive yes there might be guys that could 
that can lift the amount of weight Jekyll can, but in the sheer speed that he can get something into the air, normally a fucking body, is horrifying as you're seeing right now! And the charge speed. That was all the perks of being an ex-football player. A, a, a standout athlete. He is a insane athlete. But this right here, this is not how he needs to go about things. Though it's never really good to take multiple elbows to the face, and I think we're seeing the repercussions of that. Looks like Jekyll might have a little bit of crimson on him. Not entirely sure, but Looks he... Looks like the bridge of his nose, maybe. Maybe. But he's right here out in front of him. He just got oh. shot in on the little bit of background that, uh, that... That, just I mean, pure in front freestyle of wrestling. wrestling background, and now just punishing Jekyll right in front of us. Jekyll's already seen uh, Gloria Keg in a in a match tonight, which is interesting. But uh, it was a beautiful thing. It was. She did incredibly well. But she's a badass. This dude. is big for Jekyll. This is big. He's one half of the tag team champions, and this is one of the most important matches in his career thus far in Dub Three. Definitely, and you've already touched on the fact that the longer this match goes, it's a much, it's a really big advantage for Wu Fang. And Jekyll, he's going to run out of gas, and he's used to tag team wrestling. Yes. He's also a much larger man, so if he's going to put away oh. Wu Fang here, he's going to aim to do it soon. He's got or see something we've never seen 60 before. Sixty pounds, him. sixty-five I pounds on Wu Fang. Seems like you guys are underestimating mm. the fact that Jekyll was prepared to take to take this leap into singles competition. While Powder Cake was out, mm. he's not the first competitor here to to challenge in different divisions. No, uh, and no, not at all. You're right on that. And him entering the Eliminator as as a tag team champion, he's not part of the random draw normally, unless he enters Whoa. himself, unless he opens up his name to be entered into the Eliminator, which means he made the decision to go for singles competition. He is taking control of this match. Oh my oh. God! Oh, 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 oh my God! And here he is. Got it! Fuck him oh up. my god, one, two, no. Coming off the end of that line like that, as he has done time and time again, an all American. Oh my god. But you're seeing the tank wear thin. Oh, I didn't think he had enough room to pop that off, Nexus. Ow. Fuck. <laughs> Oh, doesn't know where he is. Getting Take advantage. <gasps> Look at that. Mississippi Monslide! Just Got in there with the ropes. Ah. Uh. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Jacko Bombs! God damn it. Another one? Another one? No fucking the way! Oh, You're man. seeing the onslaught of offensive oh, maneuvers at the hands of Jekyll. Nothing pretty about it. But Wu Fang answering, maybe that jumping. Oh! Shit. Oh my god, and now oh Wu god. is opening up, but Jackal right back to his feet. Oh god, high risk here. Superplex off the middle rope. Oh, oh shit! Oh my god! God damn! <laughs> oh no, Jackal, you gotta go for the pin, man! God! Oh, Get him! Got caught! No! Oh. Maybe the that that little bit of weight that he wasn't expecting on that lift, going to the elbows though. <laughs> oh my God! Pulling him into it. That could be it too. Oh no! Yeah, Jekyll, come on! Still got more fight in him. Throwing him down. Getting a chance to breathe here. He needs it. God! <laughs> Frog splash and beautifully executed. Just too close to the robes. Out of ring positioning. Now just using that sheer power we were talking oh, about. Now God. going to the air. Oh, Falling on. back with an elbow drop. Maybe another... Oh my god. He needs to capitalize now. Ooh, oh, but just god. like that. Oh god, he set him up. Jekyll move! Oh! He oh. ate it! He fucking ate it for lunch! 
Oh my god. But Wu's up on his feet. No Give problem. Give up. <laughs> Beautiful. One, two. Oh, 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 come on, Jackal. Oh, throwing that body at him. 300 pounds like a missile. <gasps> Mississippi! Oh, right in the center of the ring! ring. One, two, three! Oh my god! Oh my god! Holy shit! Spread it on! God damn, Jekyll! You didn't have to fuck up the old ace like that! You're shitting me! Mississippi Mudslide gets it done! For the first time in company history, Wu Fang is not in contendership or champion of the heavyweight division. Uh, huh, I'm... I... It's not often old legend doesn't have the words to describe what's going on in front of her big dog, but this just might be one of those times where right now, more than anything else, I'm watching Talon and look at the way he's looking at Wu. I kind of feel bad about it, but Talon... Yeah. He... He's lead. Talon just left. Come on, you don't believe your own Kool-Aid? That was a great wrestling match. Jekyll showed up. Exactly the kind of traditional wrestling style you want this company, right? No? Fucking hypocrite. I don't like seeing Wu like this, but uh, he has no one to blame but himself at this point right now. Fine. I don't like seeing it, though. Fine, you say that. I personally know that we've all gone through some really stupid times in our life where we believe something we shouldn't have and 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 it's and <laughs> look it's not too late. Wake up. Please. Please see the hypocrisy. Please see that this is bullshit. Please see that you are better than this and please see that you should, do not deserve to be treated like this. Crazy. And please see that uh, Kyle is back with Brie Curd. Are we going to get some answers and to this? I, I don't know about answers, so that might be confidential right now until that's decided on. But there's definitely something she's got to say.
Well, the uh, the return of they Burkowski. Found him. They found Burkowski. Oh uh, my god! Um, um, looking to uh, looking to to I guess if, well we know Brick made a lot of money uh, on sponsorship deals. Looking to uh, oh, become become yeah. Become, I've literally uh, never uh, seen him with so many clothes on though. A um, a large stockholder in the company, and uh, I don't. Oh. I, is he? Is he? Uh, well, taking, that's a, great, taking right? a step back from in-ring competition. Oh, he I don't just know. said is he there, was is building a... up a movie. Probably has a great big paycheck to spend something on. Investing in the show is we'll have new de- decorations. It's Brakowski, guys. I... Uh... He's always been about dub three. He seems a little, little bit off. But I mean, maybe this is just coming off of a, off, off of I guess the close set movie that he was working on. I don't know. Um... Nexus, what's going on? You hurting? And I... Andy's I... looking you... better. He's looking better. Am I, am I the only one seeing it? That he tanned and showered? No, I totally saw that. I didn't see any flies. No, I didn't know he spoke I, French, I wish though. I saw flies. I saw things that stunk more than a piece of shit in that exchange. Well, it certainly wasn't Comic Sans, because he wasn't talking like that anymore. Bingo, legend. That's good. That's horrible. That's when he was shitty. Oh, I... Oh, God. Oh, you're not seeing it. That's fine. Um, this is great. He's, what, yeah. you don't want him to get better? Wow, dude. Oh, God. Okay. No, I'm, I'm taking a step back. I'm, I'm not gonna, digging I'm gonna all the clothes, note. though. I'm going to write a note. Less is here. more, Brick. Less oh, is God. more. This is the worst thing ever. No bow tie was a little strange. I will say that. Is that what you're talking about? The bow tie? Oh, uh, you know, it's it's fine. I'm not oh, gonna yeah, put anything yeah. into the universe. You guys, yeah, everything's fine. Everything's fine. No, maybe nothing he's strange out is going. With merch. Maybe he's trying to sell red ties now. Oh, well, for people, not everyone can rock a bow tie, big dog. You know that. That's true. But uh, we we got we got more wrestling coming up, guys. I don't. I guess Perkowski is trying to become like, part like shareholder of, of, and... of the company. And you know what? I mean, I, if that's diversify. And incredible, we got three more matches for you tonight, and uh, one is going to be a tag team match. In fact, the next one is going to be a tag team match in uh, the Contenders action here. Paco Loco and Black Belt of Critical Friendship, the Critical Dojo, taking on Shaman and Blackheart. And they look extra fucking violent today. Nexus, if I do say so myself, legend. Oh, man. It's your boys. I know, it's my lads. These aren't the boys. These are the lads, big dog. The lads of all blue everything. And as I said earlier when we're talking about Tommy, I really just want to see them get their groove back. And, and Tommy getting, I don't know, the, the anger management issues under control so that Black Belt and Paco aren't expending all their energy trying to keep him from becoming a whirlwind of rage yes. throughout the entire back locker room. I really hope they get that under control because the last time these two teams Ooh, faced off, that, yeah. the uprising definitely uh, dethroned them and took their tag team championships at graphic do- at graphic violence. Yeah, and and they're just getting more and more violent. Uh huh. It they're not stopping, legend. But um, critical friendship have turned it around. They've been back to their winning ways as of late, and if it's and if it's now or never. To keep that momentum going, to get back up there to challenge again for the tag team titles, especially now the powder kegs may be a little questionable. It might be the time to strike if you know what I'm saying. But you got to get past yeah, the uprising you're right, first. You're right. You're you're right on every single account on this one, Legend. Good That's why stuff. I'm a legend, baby. I am positive about one thing, and that is that every time I see Shaman and Blackheart in front of me, I can't help but just absolutely love these guys they are to me what the tag team division is about just power goddamn ferocity ferocity is a great oh god barbaric Barbaric just calculated Mm -hmm. just i their arsenal i I love the critical friendship i really do but uh, i i really i can't every time i feel you know what yeah i'm gonna go critical friendship it's time for them to get in a second run with the title and then there's that wall, and it's Shaman and Blackheart, and I just say, okay, guys, I, I never doubted you. I'm wearing your shirt. It's cool. Everything's fine. I got to say, go Uprising. I want to see them face the BBA again for those tag titles. Go Uprising. I make no mis- I make no, uh, no, no intentions to hide the fact that I think Shaman and Blackheart are two of the best wrestlers 
Uh, and I, I'll restructure that best competitors in W3 and the fact that they're together as a tag team makes it that much more exciting. I think that they're going to be your first three-time tag team champions, and I think it's only a matter of time, especially if Powder Keg, as you had mentioned before, is still feeling the effects of the Super Boomer. And I think Shaman and Blackheart are going to get this win here tonight, as most of the crowd does as well. But uh, let's go ahead and get down to the ring as Critical Friendship, Paco Loco, and Black Belt take on the Uprising, Shaman and Blackheart. I don't think it's going to take long for this one to get violent. Bing. 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 Come on. Bing. 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 I'm terrible Bing. at this. <laughs> Bing. I don't even try anymore. Bing. Oh, no. Oh, no. Eugene Levy. What the fuck was that? I'd rather have Hans. Eugene Bar Chevy. Bar <laughs> Bar oh, no, 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 but dang. <laughs> Bar dang. I hate everything. There's some sweet music. I'm not gonna talk. God damn. God yep. damn. Yep. When they walk to the ring, something changes, man. <laughs> it, it's... It, it's yeah, it the the, the, the air <laughs> gets heavier. You kind of feel uncomfortable. You don't want to be there. Paco Loco showing off that speed once again. Look at the towering height <laughs> oh my God. of Shaman. <laughs> at 6'8", he sees every single bit of it. Yeah, hit him. No, damn it. Paco Loco going for the cover. No. Dagging out the black heart. You know, just three inches shorter. Nothing too, 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 too shabby. It's not like he's a 6'4", six, 6'5", six, monster himself. Paco Loco. No slouch in the strength department. Built like a fire hydrant. Low to the ground and stocky. Now black belt the uh, speed of the team that I, but then again that is selling Paco Loco short there too a complete athlete is Paco Loco but they are in there with some monsters shot to the top of the head now tagging out the shaman football oh. tackle and now black heart teeing off it's in the wrong part of town it was that one discus lariat from Blackheart that mm -hmm. ended the reign of Critical Friendship's tag Taking team those run. championships, he's going to be hunting for it, you know, at some point in this match. That being said, Shaman, a successful hunter in his own right. Some people would say that Shaman carrying the brunt of that tag title reign for a bit there, too. We got a few crit hunters here in the dub three, big dog. Some of them, the you can side. tell, aren't aren't too fond of ending the match in a pinfall or submission, but would really just like to knock a fucker out. Like to hurt people. It's a bit they, more they, final. They, they enjoy hurting people. Elbow drop to the forehead. Oh, Rana beautifully done. He rolled oh, through. Man. Look at that. That was beautiful. Not expected. And that's something that you gotta try to, uh, I guess, plan for with Blackheart. Some of the things that you just don't think he's going to do, that jumping knee strike, one of them, but that uh, roll through was gorgeous. Look at that strength by Black Belt, able to uh, belly to belly, and now pain raining down on Paco Loco's jawline. Ugh, fuck. At least it's a going snap into, response. Going into their, their match of graphic violence, the critical friendship was going in blind and 
intimidated and rightly so by these these monsters the poster had them depicted like giant like kaiju walking through the city and that's probably Fucking what it looks like when you're standing next feels to them like. to an average sized human oh god oh, god <laughs> This time around, Critical Friendship knows what to expect. They've done this before. They know it's gonna hurt, and they're ready for it. <laughs> He's done that before. I don't, I don't know if they're ready for that, though. Ow. He got caught in two different power bombs. I mean, maybe not the specifics, big dog, but in general, they know it's gonna be a war. Maybe we should do posters for some. I didn't say. I, I will. We all would like to redecorate like Bree's cover, office, wouldn't we? I will oh, cover this yeah, room. Bree's office is big. In posters, in W3 posters. Suplex coming up, executed perfectly by Shaman, now tagging in Blackheart. <gasps> Toon oh. Sweeper! God, Picking him right up. Mm -hmm. Ultimate survival. And Dojo was the other participant in that maneuver with Shaman. So uh, it seems like they've added it to their repertoire and using it effectively. Blackheart up before Paco can get up on that one, by the way. Had it scouted. It's funny, big dog. I was we 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 were talking about this earlier. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> oh god, belt! You sh no, you should have been paying attention. Oh, you still have some time. Paco, Paco, Jesus. He's fine. He grabbed a limb. Yeah, that's what you do when you're not fine. <laughs> FYI. <laughs> Just grab a limb and pull. God damn! I'm gonna <laughs> I forget what I was saying. Uh, oh, yeah. we're only we were only um, what five months since Ultimate Survival, and you and I were already speculating how much things have changed and how crazy Ooh, the team ups could be in next year's Ultimates or this oh, year's. Oh, we were Survival. speculating already today. <gasps> Bell Tyler oh! in the center of the ring. Oh, Ooh. Yeah. Shaman was caught off guard. He didn't enter the ring as fast as he should have. Oh my <laughs> God, he bounced on that one. Crossface locked in. Things are getting a little out of control as you hear rock and roll. Oh, God. <gasps> Running defense. No, not enough. Oh, he is swinging. Oh, no. Oh, God. Face buster. Oh, God. Blackheart getting on another level at this point. Getting down right violent. No uh, way around that one. Tag in Paco Loco. Body slam, he's going to the outside. Maybe a chance to double team here. Oh. Double stomp. I thought he was going for a dive on Blackheart. He pulled his off. Stop short. He had a little I like speed. the way Blackheart can, th can think that quickly on his feet. He's really stepped up uh, for a while there with, with Apaco. That's the shoot, same thing you were shoot, talking about, shoot, Shaman. Shoot. Shoot. Being the one who was carrying the team for a bit. For a while, it was Paco. Black Belt was having some self confidence issues. Now, not so much. Got it! Oh. The Sentai biggest boy! Black Belt! No! Now, tagging out to Blackheart. Very uh, wise after that damn Sentai off the top rope. Oh, oh my geez. god! Caught him right behind the head. Oh shit. Things are getting to the pace that they like. No! He's got that locked in. It's almost like a cravat. Did you see that? The way he had it? Shit, 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 shit. Knee to the back of the head. Power bomb. Oh my god. The back of his That's head gone. just bounced. Paco fighting out of the predicament. Oh! Big boy! Oh yeah! Going for the cover! No! Oh, oh gosh! Hammer fist at the back of the skull. Oh, knee to the face. Face buster. Shanghai style. Paco managing to get away from both members of the uprising, making the tag to Black Belt. Tommy cheering them on. Surprised he hasn't tried to Nothing get involved. Maybe having a match earlier is calm down a bit. Ooh. Holy shit! I thought he would go into the top rope after that. Not getting that now. Going to the top rope. Moonsault coming up. Beautifully executed. Shaman cutting off the ring. Oh god. Another moonsault. 
Normally you're seeing a lot of knee drops off the top from Black Belt. He's going for the big stuff here tonight. Wisely tagging to Blackheart. Shaman took a punishing amount of offense. Whoa. My god, everyone colliding. That was a big, big blunder on the part of the Uprising, allowing a tag to Paco Loco. Yeah, that was a mistake, for sure. Oh, power bomb coming oh. up. Oh. Whoa! Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. That's the second one he's eaten in this match. Well, oh, he knows where he is. Boy. Got it! Every Get single bit Get it! Oh, that's got to be the leg! Yes! He got it! God. Wow. Well, you said it earlier. The night of the underdogs the tonight. They adapted. Super Centon to go. 21 minutes, 4 seconds, 88% from Delta. Look at 100% from pressure. Legend. How, yeah, lads. They did know what to expect. They did know what they had to do. And that was don't fucking stop hitting them. With as much as you can and as many big boy Centons as possible. Great game plan, in my opinion. Excellent game plan. <laughs> Yeah, but definitely, defi definitely looked more ready for the uprising than they did at Graphic Violence. Understandably so. Yeah, and right before that, you saw that split-second miscommunication with Shaman and Blackheart. And, and that's all it takes. You Every can't dog has up. his day, especially if you can uh, capitalize on your opponent's mistake. This next match, guys. This next match. Oh, God, match. a bad time already. I know. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know. And uh, I'm seeing something else, too. I don't care. Fuji will be accompanying Sumo Joe as well as Steel Talon in this next contest. That's fine. I don't care. Hannibal and Sumo Joe once again meeting in the ring. The tradition has lost two. Yoraki falling first. Wu Fang falling out of the top five in the heavyweight division. His sanity is relying on Sumo Joe, the only three-time heavyweight champion in W3 history. Possibly the scary, the, the single most intimidating professional wrestler today. And Hannibal has beaten him. This is not anything new for Hannibal. But a win here will send a message down Steel Talon's throat. Everybody knows how I feel about Hannibal. That's no secret. Legend wears her heart on her sleeve for everyone to see. That's just me. I, oh, Hannibal, when this, when this all was going down, when the tradition was building their wall in, in the in the top five rankings, and Kyush was charging at them, and you saw Beast charging at them, and I really, if it was me choosing an army to go against the front line of the tradition, I wanted Hannibal on that team. And you know what? But for a while, he wasn't showing like he wanted to be on that team. And then in the past couple of weeks, he turned that around, turned it up against Bolt Jameson. Turned it up against Wu Fang. <laughs> if he turns it up against Joe tonight, that's him and Beast between the tradition and our world heavyweight champion executioner. And that's one step closer. Joe's the only heavyweight in contention from the tradition. That's one step closer Hannibal takes to the heavyweight championship. I'm just going to put it out there. You know, looking back in the history that these two have, ever since the Great American Thrash... They've only met in the ring twice since then. The first time was at Ultimate Survival when Bolt Jameson and Hannibal defeated <laughs> the uh, scary team of Sumo Joe and Grizzly. Yes. Uh, and then the second time was when Hannibal was chosen as Executioner's partner against Sumo Joe and Wu Feng. And although Hannibal and Bolt got the better of Sumo Joe that day and Grizzly, it was that more recent tag match that Hannibal was not faring well against Sumo Joe. And I don't necessarily remember if there was a lot of matchups around that time and Hannibal was feeling out of it, but he was banged up. Because that was a different Joe. 
But this Joe here hasn't been doing well. Like Wu Fang said, Talon, maybe, maybe Joe needs some of your firm talking tos. Because he hasn't been doing that well either. He got pinned by Beast of Sori in less than in 11 minutes. 12 minutes. 11 minutes. I like to see Hannibal get the win here clean. I do not want to see Fuji get involved. It's in the realm of possibility, too. I think I this guy can do it. I think yeah. he can beat Sumo Joe. I, I know. He He's do. done it before. He has done it before. He has to be smarter than Joe because he's not going to be more powerful. And, oh, go Hannibal. Go All Hannibal. Right, your semi-main event of the night in the heavyweight division contenders. Oh, boy. Hannibal taking on the traditions sumo Joe. I like how uh how Talon has also uh gotten the use of Master Fuji. Recently retired. Ulan Batar Usurper strikes an intimidating shadow against the ground and anything in his way. Hannibal is now in his way. Hannibal's been in a lot of people's way, big dog. I don't think he cares anymore. Yeah, throw me off the stage. I'll come back. Oh, starting off hot, body slamming Joe, the two, the, excuse me, the 360 pounds, I was almost off 100 pounds on that, 6'9", 360, Joe is a monster, in every sense of the word. Oh, frying pans for hands right across the face, now trying to cave in the chest of Hannibal, god damn. Oh. Oh, God. Shot to the side of the head. Spinning soul, but drops the big man. Caught him right in the solar plexus. Maybe a little bit of reverberage through the kidneys and the liver there for Joe. Oh, my goodness. That's a detailed analysis, big dog. I know. I know what it feels like to be hit. You know that, legend. You know it all too well. <laughs> <laughs> Dunked it, and then a falling knife edge chop oh, right across the throat of Hannibal, but he's fighting back. Name of the game, stick and move, stick and move here for Hannibal, because if you let the Ulan Batar Usurper get a hold of you, that will be your demise. That's where those uh, game over flashes across mm -hmm. the screen right before your eyes. Those are high. Those are high, those chops. But he drops the Ulan Batar Usurper. Oh my, oh my god! Oh my what god. the fuck? How was he able to get the angle on that? I've never seen that. That is inhuman. What do you what do you even call that? It was a phoenix splash, but like he inverted was... springboardy. I've never seen anything <laughs> like fuck? that. Supari rush and then that falling oh. chop once again. Ducked it. Oh. The big man backing off though. He is a little stunned, especially that top rope maneuver. Into the corner, running. No, Joe was waiting on him. He's standing his ground. Oh, oh for good reason. One. Oh, God, another. Oh. And Zagiri, he caught the foot, maybe going for a slap. Hannibal beating him to the punch. Kick, rather. Yeah. But, uh, off into the ropes. Big difference, too, from their oh, one no. and only oh, other no. singles match. <gasps> oh, Jesus Christ. A body check. Spari right into the corner. The sumo background coming through for Sumo Joe. 
as was pointed out, their other two encounters were in oh, multi-man no. matches. Oh, oh shit! Oh, he's got the fucking Borlord. 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 Show to the outside. Wait a second. The entire he ground. cleared. Shake his hands at Gary. He cleared Talon and Fuji. I I wish Joe landed on Talon and Fuji. <laughs> God damn it. Hannibal, you fucking god. <laughs> that is a match changer. That Frankensteiner to the outside. The top rope head scissors. <laughs> Joe trying to get his wits about him. Looks like he found it in the just open palms across Hannibal's. Oh my, oh my god, he oh got my him shit. off for the fisherman buster. Buster. So anyway, that run off the corner was exactly what I was trying to say, but too much crazy shit was happening. Oh my god, this is what he won the tournament with. Not enough to get the pin. That because their only singles match was a death Ooh. match, oh. Hannibal couldn't use the ropes god. and turnbuckles. Damn. Now he can. And that opens it, an entire it arsenal of moves that Joe hasn't seen from Hannibal it, yet. It, but did you see he dropped him with that shot across the face? I saw him face. kick <gasps> out. Do it, do it, do it. Oh, I said I'm up too. Oh. oh no. No. Rana. Oh, you have the ball. Oh. Oh, oh, kissing Gary chop right to the top of the skull. And keep in mind too, Joe likes to uh, make the mistake of playing with his food. So oh my god, Dina once again! Oh, oh my god! Who, who is it? Fuji it is up Fuji. on the apron. <laughs> that that could have been it. This can be it. No, he's he's definitely in the ropes. The six nine well, frame of Sumo who knows Joe. Who Listen, knows? It? I love it. I love that. But go ahead and expose yourself. The hypocrisy. It's all about the competition. Ooh, we don't Ooh. like deplorables. Oh! <laughs> Ow! Oh, Ow. No. oh no! no. Oh, I got no. it! One, two, three! Oh, my God. oh God, he's gonna pay for it! Oh, One, the ropes. two, the ropes. no! The ropes? Oh! What? Oh, He's got to get the ropes! Oh, I'll take that one. Oh, well. I guess it was fair. Neither of them got counted. Oh, Fuji, can you get down? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Just oh punishing God. shots to the chest. Like a yo-yo. Kick combination coming in. Now spinning soul, but Fuji... Oh! oh. Check the punch! Joe looks like he's tiring. He's go. You oh. see it, don't you? He's going for another usurper shot. Oh, he's dead. It was only a matter of time. Third time's the charm. Oh. God. <sighs> Fucking Fuji, man. These hypocrites. Sumo Joe, another usurper chop, another victim, and another win for the Ulan Batar usurper. I'll say, big dog, he definitely did not take Hannibal lightly, if you notice. There was no fucking around, no playing, like I thought he might. Joe fucking took it to Hannibal tonight. There was a distinct point in that match. Joe uh, bent Hannibal over and oh chopped God. him in the face my with his with the edge of his hand. And the fact that Hannibal managed to get his shoulder off the mat is a testament to his heart, his his willpower, because it looked. It looked like he caved in his skull. Hannibal is a badass. It looked like he caved in his skull. Our resident, little Karen, Troy Constantine, loves calling the office when things go wrong. I mean, this is his shot right here, man. This is his shot. Your main event of the evening. 
for the Junior Heavyweight Championship of the World, Aztec Dragoon defending against Troy Constantine. <laughs> I broke the scoop earlier today, Big Dog, when I saw Aztec Dragoon come out of Bree's office. Obviously, I went in to find out what went, went, went on. And I guess all the shit talk, all the whining, all the complaining, Troy Constantine, even though the past two, uh, Matt, the past two encounters, Aztec Dragoon has caught him in that Dragoon sleeper. And uh, and made him tap out. Constantine's going around saying he's been preparing ever since being named number one contender to the Junior Heavyweight Championship. He's been preparing. He's been training for that one-on-one -on -one encounter. And these eight-man matches, these tag matches, they're not what he was training for. He's being out of his element. It's not fair. What, 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 et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Well, guess what? Not only have we had enough of it, Dragoon had enough of it. Marched into Bree's office, put down the Junior Heavyweight Championship, and said, put it on the line. Put it on the line. And tell him to put up or shut up. And it's time to put up or shut up. The time has come for Troy Constantine. But Constantine's been on his game. The only person that has been calling Constantine's number has been Aztec Dragoon. Has Troy learned? We've seen Troy learn on the fly before. Uh, Dragoon has managed to submit him multiple times. In fact, managed to submit him recently in a match where he tapped almost immediately as soon as he got into the Dragoon clutch. Constantine, we saw him reach for his neck and he immediately tapped out. Do we know if that was because of a neck injury or was that a self-preservation on the count of Troy Constantine? Don't let Constantine's boisterous actions fool you. He is an intelligent professional wrestler. He wouldn't be the number one contender if he wasn't. Constantine's got a shot here. <laughs> he does he's, have a shot. He, he does. He's, he's, he he's wrestled Dragoon shot. enough to maybe figure out his game. Aztec Dragoon worrying about an entire division. Constantine worrying about Aztec Dragoon. This kid... Takes everything that comes at him head on and ready and faces any challenge. He's had an incredible, violent, physical series with Abispa. Sumo Joe had a target on him. And yes, he came up in the, God, on the losing end, God. but he did not hesitate to go after that that mountain. Not for a the second. Mongolian mountain. He has three victories over Wu Fang. Aztec Dragoon is our eighth big dog, and you say you're asking if Troy Constantine has learned has learned what he needs to, of what he needs to learn to 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 win this match. I say Aztec Dragoon loves to teach lessons, and I think he's got one left to teach tonight, and that's you're not on my level, Troy. Your main event of the night, the challenger, two hundred and seven pounds. From Manchester, England, Troy Constantine, your champion, reigning and defending, fighting out of Tijuana, Mexico, by way of Tokyo, Japan, 197 pounds, the W3 Junior Heavyweight Champion, Aztec Dragoon. Don't choke on it. I don't intend to? Good. <laughs> okay. We need you. We're almost at 100, Legend. I know. We're gonna I can't make have it. You, I can't have you flirting with talent. Just stick to 100. I wasn't going to. God, I don't have a death wish. I'm just appreciating. Some guy is age well. You know that song, Peppa, what we say. Yeah, well, you know, you hang around bad boys, so. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I tried to. Are. Big fight feel. Constantine getting his championship match three shows before the 100th oh, yeah. episodic episode. Did you see the official new Troy Constantine emote? Oh, yes. The, the, the phone. Oh, man. <laughs> that hot red telephone. <laughs> it's like the bat phone. Or cat phone, I guess. You have a very strange look on your face, big dog. I am Are you all in. Yeah, I am all in on this match. Constantine is a 
underdog of the highest content in this match. I mean, you gotta you 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 gotta think that no one in this arena in their right mind is betting on Constantine. But if they are betting on Constantine, they're about to win. If he does get that roll up win, if he gets that submission at the cat's cradle, if he gets a pinfall, he'll be making a lot of money here tonight. Off into the robes, kitchen sink, and now stomping at the back of the knee, of the right knee in particular, of Aztec Dragoon. Dragoon catching the kick. Things are moving fast and furious here tonight. Shouts out to Skin Beeble. No, I no, knew you were going to no, do that, you piece no. of shit. I hate him. <laughs> Speedy and angry. No, Kicking I'm combination. Angry. Spinal tap. Kicking at the lower tailbone, and he's answering with a drop kick to the back of the head. Constantine, a spicy fellow. Manchester, England. I, I, I didn't, I didn't pick his, uh, his accent for Manchester. Well, he's traveled a lot. Yes. He lived in Mexico for several years. He lived lived in, in Japan Canada. in Canada. Absolutely. Train everywhere. Train all styles. Look Honestly, at this. If he could get his head out of his ass, he's one of the most well-rounded competitors we have here in the dub three because of uh, being uh, open to different techniques of training all around the world. Snap suplex from Dragoon. Speaking of all around the world, this is your world junior heavyweight champion and uh, a man traveled in his own right. No, no styling of professional wrestling is going to catch him by surprise. As I say, that gets kicked right in the mountain. <laughs> Pulling he might have seen it coming, though. Possibly. Has he got in mind here? Whoa. Whoa, roll up from Constantine. Oh, One oh, had it scouted, maybe going for the Dragoon suplex there. Would have been early. Cross arm breaker. Not enough to get the submission. Uh, able to just kind of wiggle his way and squirm his way out of it and then <laughs> deliver a spinal tap. How did you make that sound gross? Well, it, it is. Into the corner. Now, what does he have in mind here? Arm drag right out of it and then a stomp. Looked a little low once again. A little again. suspect. Uh -huh. <laughs> Two squaring off once again. Arm drag from Aztec Dragoon this time. About seven minutes have expired in this match now. <laughs> Still, no one really jumping out to a head. I will say, if there is somebody, it's Constantine. Don't there's no time. So I don't necessarily know if this is uh, what we would normally refer to as a feeling out process, Ooh. big dog. <laughs> Definitely no, I say now. Might have swung the, swung my opinion. But we did have a, 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 a non-title match between these two a few, Whoa. maybe a month ago. The Nexus reminded me of it. I went back and checked. And we were talking there that the, that the match was actually in Troy Constantine's favor mm -hmm. to learn yeah. Dragoon, his techniques, his his in-ring uh, go-to moves. Look what at is this. Going for the power bomb again. Got it. He's going to follow up with a cat's cradle. No, he's going to kick him low once again. And to be able to scout the champ and see what it would take to beat him when the title was on the line. And hopefully, for him, he was able oh! to... To hide some of the techniques to put that he can bring oh, in. Oh my god! Because if all right, not. All right. Constantine looking sharp thus far. Oh my god. Just the knee to the gut flips him over and into the Romero special. Nowhere to go, but luckily close enough to the ropes to get a, a, a strand of hair, maybe even, on that buckle to get the uh, the break on the submission from referee Patty O'Malley all off the top. What does he got in mind here? No, Aztec Dragoon taking that immediate step back, seeing what was coming, now locking in a single leg grab. Into the robes, drop kick, oh. almost out of mid-air. Impressive body control at the hands. Oh, second hardest part of the ring, that corner. Oh, I, oh. Drop kick! That twist there. Romero special locked in. Almost a little dead center Troy of the ring. Out. Dragoon trying to jump ahead, but now Constantine challenging this. Chopping him down. Constantine is looking spot on his game tonight. Powerbomb Not coming up. Got it! Cat's Cradle! Cat's go. Cradle! In the center of the ring! Nowhere to go! Oh, that could have been it. Really? 
Dragoon, Dragoon Clutch! Oh my god! Dragoon Sleeper, the Dragoon Clutch locked in! That was so sick! That hurts me so much. Snap Suplex. Troy getting a breather after having some His air. Th yeah. Throat pulled. <laughs> You said no, not throw. Drop kick once again, flooring Constantine. Constantine oh going God. low once again. Res ever resourceful times? Troy Constantine is here tonight. Snap two plays, but Constantine up first. You thinking maybe the shots uh, low below the belt of Aztec Dragoon are, are uh, adding up here. <gasps> That's Kratos oh, once again! Locked in! Oh my god, if he can get the submission victory over Aztec Dragoon, a cherry on top for the man. Oh. 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 But he caught him in the hood! Oh. 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 Yes, yeah, locked in! He oh is god. zeroing in on that lower oh. back. The power bomb and that cat's cradle combination is doing it's job not yet getting the submission victory, but guys, Aztec Dragoon is in a bad way if he doesn't <gasps> stop that. Super kick laying him out, doesn't know where he is. I thought he was gonna go for that German. What does he got here? Ooh, lands. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> he needs to go to the top. Aztec Dragoon taking the second. I don't know, big dog. I think oh, Jesus. Oh. the way Dragoon was just staring at Constantine. Not like that. You're not oh gonna my get the god. Like oh that. my god. No, no, no. Not a chance. Constantine letting it get to Oh, <laughs> getting a chance to breathe here. You said he should have gone to the top and you're right, but I think he's taking oh. it personally. How many how obvious Oh my Troy god. Troy is going for that cat's cradle. Look Dragoon's at this. there. He wants Man. to finish it with the Aztec Look. sleeper, but O'Malley is down. Able to not having to break that hold uh, at the rope there. Oh my god! Scratching oh pose! What if he goes for it? What is what he doing? He here? Oh my god. No. He oh god. Oh. Cat's cradle locked in! Are we going to see a new champion? No! And Troy obviously having taken it personally. Oh! Wait, oh. Do it. That's oh gotta be god. it. That's gotta be it. To have tapped out the last two matches, or three, I don't actually oh. remember. Oh, Moon Soul oh. Press. Rolling clutch, he is away from the buckle. No, obviously. The little fingies caught the rope. Oh shit. Oh, snap suplex into the buckles. But he's up before, maybe able to cushion his blow. Oh, oh might where, are where are we going, where are we going? Oh no. Oh, he made a mistake. <gasps> what? What? <laughs> what? Jesus. Constantine's up, but he has no, no idea. Oh. oh my god. One, oh, it's two, two. It's no. Close. Oh god. <gasps> if that was going to be it. Got it. Oh, oh my god. god. Troy. Troy. No. Troy Come is on. playing with fire. Why is he not going for the covers? This kid is a fucking insane man. It's personal. It's all about making the other one give up. Oh, give up. Give up. No. <laughs> He's won <laughs> matches with that before. You'll hate losing to that. Oh shit, roll up. No, able to get his hand on the rope there, that left hand. Constantine! Oh my god. Get out of that corner. Caught the leg. Dragon screw leg whip. Maybe a Moonzo coming up. Body splash instead. Not wasting any time. Working over the midsection. <gasps> oh, drunk um, twist! Super kick! Another the one! Back. Oh, he, he missed! Up. He missed! He overshot! Yeah. Face crusher! Oh god! Oh god! Oh, oh god! Oh god! Oh my god! Oh, oh, my god. oh, oh no! God. Oh god! Top rope! <gasps> oh, oh my god! god. Oh, god. Oh, god. Oh, god. 
Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, okay, this yeah, we is got that. Wild. How Oh, oh again! No, able to get his hand right on the rope there. I have heartburn. Oh, oh, God. God. oh shit! Yeah, we, have oh, a new champion. we have a new champion! He's not Don't letting let it go! go. Oh He's my not god! Let go. <gasps> He's not letting go! Oh my god! And no! <gasps> W3 Junior Heavyweight Champion! The phone calls all were for a purpose. Everything was calculated. Tiger sold Troy Constantine. He said, put up or shut up, big dog. Your new champion. Constantine was playing a long game. Oh, man. Oh my god. Oh god, you see him grab the title and just run his way up the ramp? That was... Could this all have just been his plan? <laughs> I have no words. Troy Constantine. Somebody who Tonight we compared was... to to Aztec Dragoon many times since his debut. Tonight was uh, a spectacle to behold. We have a new junior heavyweight champion, somebody that no one was really betting on. Constantine had a plan. As I mentioned before, Constantine has fought Aztec Dragoon for the past, what, month here in W3. Yeah. Multi-man matches getting caught in the Dragoon Sleeper, the Dragoon Clutch with the hooks in, everything. Constantine knew what it felt like, knew where it was coming from. He only got caught in it twice. Got caught in it early, but was able to, to pry his way out of it. Got to the ropes multiple times to get away from it. He had a plan, and he executed it better than anyone could have imagined. Constantine earned that junior heavyweight championship i can't believe it i he, he earned everyone's respect really i would say he said it in Bree's office regardless of what you think of him that's the tiger soul troy constantine and that's how we have to refer to him as going forward because he said exactly what he was going to do and that was take the title off dragoon